Looks like our weather's off again. It's been literally hit or miss every day. Sun, rain, sun, rain. Anyways, what's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman for me. Weekend, so it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, then rain again Sunday. So, fingers crossed, we can get everything done. Hopefully, so we're just gonna unload this thing. I have to actually go pick up another car real quick, and then I'm gonna get back here and uh, start chopping up the track, build that car jump up bigger. So, this thing should be fun. It's D5, pretty new, pretty new. These things even take depth fluid now. I didn't even know that. That was just for cars. Another car. Oh, ion. Here we go. I got an eye on you. <laughs> Back at the compound, we got home safe and sound. The rain is slowly starting to die off. Fingers crossed it stops. <laughs> got the dozer up there just waiting. I'm just gonna unload this thing, park it, park it right over there. Start dozing away. We'll start with the berm, see where we end up. Tons of gas in her, 347 on her. Oh yeah, she's standard too. Through the puddle. <laughs> Straight into the parking spot. Ding. All right, let's go get that dozer. See if I remember how to drive these things. Been a few years. I've never driven a cat actually. Only um, John Deere's, so. This is a D5 cat, fairly new. 1600 hours on it. Here we go. First thing you're getting. Let her roll, boys. Let her roll. Try not to hit my truck. <laughs> this thing hauls. The rain has stopped, so I finished that berm down there. Unfortunately, it was pretty swampy, so I was trying to raise up just the flat part to where you go the next jump, but it was way too swampy. So I figured head down here. It's a little more dry. We're working on the car jump, so I'm just leveling the whoops here. I'm gonna move the car jump right to about here. I was thinking move it over there, but we have to kind of keep this road here because Enbridge has a pipeline that goes through there, so we have to keep it open for them. So we move it right to there, and the car should be able to clear that no problem. So this will probably take me a few hours. Oh man, it's windy and crappy out, but we're getting after it. We're getting the hang of this thing is pretty easy. It's pretty uh. All bulldozers are pretty simple. So this is your forward reverse, left, right. This is your blade, pretty simple. Blade tilt and the blade is tilt and does a turn. So it's even got a reverse camera on this thing. Look at that. That's awesome. I got the drone, but it's super windy right now. So I'm not going to put it up because yeah. So anyways, I even brought my GoPro down, tried to turn it on. Turns out it's dead. Had it on the charger all night. Probably didn't plug it in. So, anyways, let's uh, keep after this jump and see what uh, see what we can build her into. Here we go. Dose it away. Look at the clouds. They're moving. Wow. What's up, guys? I'm bored. <laughs> I mean, pushing dirt is fun, but it's pretty mind-numbing. But uh, yeah, so I removed that berm that was right there. So the track came through here, went up the hill, down, and then back in the bush. Now we're just gonna have it this jump and then go straight up to the bush. So I'm just cutting this section out because every time I redo it, it rains and it just, it's all rock up there. So it just turns into a gravel pit. So anyways, I pushed the berm all up here and that took, took about half an hour. So now I'm gonna move the car jump over here. So I'm gonna make it wider, taller, longer, a bit of everything. So that's the plan right now. Let's get after it. Get after it, get on it. Lunch time. I crush the rest of my sub. Look at that rock. A little Volkswagen there. Anyways, the jump's coming along. It's a lot of dirt. I didn't realize how much dirt went into this jump. So I pushed out berm over, pushing everything back. I'm trying to make it twice as wide because as you guys remember it, you know, as it rains and the weather and stuff, it does round off the top. So I'm trying to make it super wide. So 
you know, it is a lot longer, longer so there is a chance the cars are going to go left and right. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to try and make it high and more long. The last one was more pitched up, but I'm trying to make it a little more gradual. So, uh, and then I'm going to put a little drainage in here too, so there's no puddle at the bottom. But these cars, there's at least another, I don't know, 60, 70 feet now, so they're going to get some air time and they're going to fly over the, uh, the dirt bike jump there, the little mountain behind that. So it's going to be pretty wild. I'm pretty excited. So fingers crossed it goes well. So I'm going to crush this and carry on. This jump is huge. I had to move this Jeep out of the way. I'm going to send her back to the scrap yard. <laughs> it's getting pretty narrow in here. And the car jump is complete. It's about the same size. It's just a little longer. So they are going to fly though, because the car jump was here before, now it's over there. So. They're going to fly. All right, carry on. She's being parked for the night. Uh, there's the bird I finished earlier. I'm heading to Windsor, and I'll be back Sunday. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to actually having a track this year that's not grown over. So hopefully we can keep her maintained. So we'll continue this Sunday. Here we go. Green coyote back there. First time I've seen one down here. Hello! Back at it, day two. Huh. Anyways, charged the GoPro this time. Turns out I had to open my computer to charge it. And got the drone. And it's not raining or windy, so I just did these little, this little gap here. I gotta throw the drone up for this one and do the whole circle, time lapse stuff. Oh, and I brought a suction cup too. I have that like uh, T-Rex mount. It works good, but it doesn't really grab onto smooth metal, smooth around metal like that. So maybe I'll put it on my nipple. Hold on. All right, carry on. Saved a bit off those jumps. Second visitor trudging. Oh, it's only about 5 p.m. so I've only got about two hours going. Watch for these rocks. <laughs> I kind of groomed the laneway and pushed the uh, rocks in the way there. Just showing old trudge the car jump. <laughs> yeah, it is massive now. It's hard to tell in the video, but they're gonna land somewhere over there. So it's gonna be pretty wild. Just showing old trudge the car jump. <laughs> It is massive now. It's hard to tell in the video, but they're going to land somewhere over there. So, it's going to be pretty wild. b -Rad just swung by, brought me some dinner, brought me a little burger. So I'm just teaching them how to do this. Just peeling off a little bit at a time. So we're going to make the freestyle landing a little bigger, mostly just remove the grass and stuff. The, um, this jump is going to make it way smaller. It's really deadly if you screw up. It doesn't feel well. Look at this thing. Let's shake it off. <laughs> this thing's got a shaker button, it's awesome. And a reverse camera. <laughs> oh yeah, beautiful evening out. The old weather report here. Someone made fun of me because I start every video with a weather report. I think that's how you should start every video. Beautiful day. Gotta do some crazy stuff. River's up high. Look at that car jump. Isn't that thing deadly? They're gonna land like way over there. It's gonna be nuts. I'm excited. It's pretty dark out now, but getting the jumps built. I got this one peaked to the nines. It's a little hard to see, but we're getting her done. So I'm gonna try and do at least uh, another jump and probably a couple berms. Then call her night and then get up at five and start again. Get her all done tomorrow. So this is as much filming as I'm gonna do tonight since it's pitch black out, but we'll continue on in the morning. Hey! Turning into a be a beautiful day today, boys. Look at this. <laughs> what's up, what's up? So I got up at six, started at seven this morning. Progress has been good. What have I done this morning? I started with this corner. That took a bit and kind of finished the 
single double last night. See that? That used to be a ski jump, but it was very sketchy. It was from there to over there, and it was kind of do or die. So I turned it into a single and then a double. So getting older, got to tame things down. Anyways, this is actually the step down where I broke my back a few years ago. So jump was like back here, landing was 10 feet past there. Came up short, bounced, landed down in that corner. Freaking broke my back in two spots, ruptured spleen, two ribs, punctured lung. It was not good, I almost died. So I've decided, I haven't actually hit this jump since, so I decided to tame it way down. More of a drop off now, not much of a lip, kind of just straight out. And then I pushed this about five feet forward, and then I brought the landing about 10 feet back. So she's pretty tame. And if you do screw it up, at least it'll just land on top over there. So I just got to pack this edge down and then uh, do some of the woods. The woods aren't bad. Nothing really grows in there because it's shady and rocky. So hey, let's take a few pictures. Justin should be on his way. I think later this afternoon we might jump a one of the vehicles on the new car jump. I want to test it out while I still have the dozer here just in case I got to tweak things. So and uh, a few of the guys, Zan and Brad, made a good point. I need to build a wall on the other side in case they do land and decide to keep going. So I'm gonna take all the rocks and boulders I've dug up and build a rock wall slash dirt wall over there. So if they do land and keep going, they'll hit the rocks. So anyways, let's carry on and get after it here. Look at this, not a cloud in the sky. Getting her done slowly but surely. Just did a quick diesel run here. Things actually pretty good on fuel. First night I only used 20 liters. Last night and this morning I'm probably 40. And then uh, I had to fill the depth fluid, but it was only half full when it came. So put four liters of that in. It's still showing full, so hopefully I don't have to fill it again. But uh, yeah, got a lot done. I've cut out a bit of the track there, so I'm gonna start on the big jump now, the big double. Tone it down, kind of make it. It it had like a good pop to it, but I'm gonna make it more more fast and a little lower so Justin should be on his way soon Let's see what other trouble we can find I might throw him in a truck and just pack everything down pack these dozer ruts down so got this thing full and carry on got Justin over there testing out the car jump he's just packing it down actually so it's gonna launch here over this land on that log hopefully I'm just making a little wall over there of rocks and mud in case they do carry on but I think once they land off that jump they're gonna be I think the wheels are gonna be blown off for sure so I'm just doing up this jump and then uh, yeah I got a few more corners and berms and a few other things that will be good to go you batter this is why I don't have nice things look at this like no no I'm gonna touch it We'll just get the old uh, dozer out here and then we'll uh, give her old chum. Roll around up there like a dog. I'm dead. Let's get this going there, Pops. A lot easier to see about the box on. Drop me. <laughs> uh. Don't do that. <laughs> Let me just push you. Okay. You're getting mud everywhere. <laughs> you drop me like four <laughs> feet. <laughs> you had my back end like four feet off the ground. You just dropped me. Well, I'm out finally. I'm going to avoid that area. This is the new car jump here. Look at this. This is a beast of a jump. It's going to pack down some of the ruts here. You think we could jump the dozer? Oh yeah, 100%. There we go. We're getting it. Look at that run up. It's like a brick wall. This thing is massive. It's probably 10 to 12 feet. Jeez. It's about, I don't know how wide it is, maybe maybe 15 or so. 
We're not missing it this time. No more cars going off the sides. I mean, I'm sure we'll have the other one, but for the most part, they're going straight up. Progress is coming along. That's our biggest jump so far for the dirt bikes. Car jump. We got more try, visitors. I'll try it with the razor. You gonna try it with the razor? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Can land right on the other side. Yeah. So I don't know where Justin is. He's probably buried again, but yeah, he's she's, she's coming along. So as soon as I finish up the track here, I'm gonna start on the side by side track back there. So slowly but surely. It's coming. People just keep arriving, eh? Hey, you got a uh, coyote in the back. <laughs> Full track update here. It's looking good. We're just starting on the side-by-side -side track now. Just making a little uh, rock minefield here. Some rocks the size of small cars. Got a little rock wall going all the way along the back here. It's just kind of a little catch in case they uh, make it past our minefield. It's a lot of uh, back and forth, two, three rocks at a time. So these are uh, pretty heavy little buggers here. So yeah, and they're done. Oh, a little soupy here too. Another trip done. Let's go find some more rocks. Final grade. Tracks done. Side by side tracks done. Car jumps done. All the jumps are done. I'm exhausted. Let's wash this thing and get out of here. Quick wash. You guys need a machine. These are your guys. Steve Miller. Oh man, this thing was awesome. Biggest, best help we've ever had. Oh, I've never had a brand new cat like that. That was awesome. That machine is like the Lamborghini of what we need. Like, look what I did. Who knew I could drive a bulldozer? Taught myself. Didn't even watch a YouTube video. Anyways, I logged about 30 hours on that boy. I'm ready for a nap. I think we might go jump a car after this and then shut her down. I think we've earned the beer, so... Thank you guys for watching. Get excited. We got a brand new track now. We got a side by side track. We got the biggest epic car jump ever. Like, who builds a car jump? We did. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you uh, check out the other videos. Get excited. We got lots more cars coming. I got four right now that need to be jumped. So, let me know if you guys have some cars that want to be jumped. You know, not everyone wants to take them to a scrapyard. Someone some want to see them uh, fly first, so you guys are amazing. Thank you. Have a fantastic night. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.